So here's a typical exam question on Fourier transform properties. And it says, sketch frequency domain plots and use Fourier properties to show that cos of AT times cos of BT equals one half of cos A plus BT plus one half of cos A minus BT. And this is a common expression which can be shown in a number of ways. But here it's asking us to use Fourier properties. So we're going to be thinking about the frequency domain. And one of the properties in the frequency domain we know is that if you multiply two functions in the time domain, then it's equivalent to convolving their Fourier transforms. So we're probably going to look at convolution here. So let's start by thinking of cos of AT and thinking about its Fourier transform. So let's start by writing out cos of AT in terms of exponentials, complex exponentials. And this is uh, the first step to be thinking about the Fourier transform because we know from Fourier transform lookup tables, but also from properties of duality and time shifts and phase shifts and so on, uh, you can find uh, expressions for the Fourier transform of e to the j omega t. Uh, and it equals, uh, the Fourier transform is 2 pi times a shifted delta function. Uh, and so here we've got e to at, so we'll have a delta function shifted to a and a delta function shifted to negative a. And the amplitude will be uh, 2 pi times 1 half in each case. So let's uh, look at that over here, and we'll plot that over here. So if this is the omega um, plot here, and at a we have a delta function of height pi, uh, and at negative a we have a delta function of height pi. And for more information about the height of delta functions, or more accurately it's the area under the delta function, uh, you'll find a link in the description below this video that explains more about delta functions. And so this is for cos of AT. Now let's do the Fourier transform of cos of BT. Well, of course, it's the same, uh, except that those delta functions are at the values of B. And I've just shown, shown two arbitrary values of A and B here. And now we are going to use that property of Fourier transforms where we said we knew that the multiplication in the time domain gave the convolution equivalent in the frequency domain. Uh, so let me just write that here. Uh, multiplication in the time domain gives a convolution in the frequency domain, but there's also a scaling of 1 divided by 2 pi. Uh, so this is a property we're going to use here. So these are of heights pi. Um, now we're going to do the convolution. Uh, and when we do the convolution, we're going to use another property that we know about convolving delta functions. And that result is that if you take a function and convolve it with a delta function, then the effect is to move your function to be located with the zero from your function at the location of the delta function. So let's look at this one here and let's think about this where we're going to have uh, the, let's think of these as our delta functions and this is our function. So we're going to convolve this with each of these two delta functions. Because it's linear, you can do them separately and then add them up. So let's think of this function convolved with that delta function. You take this function and shift it so that the zero is located at the delta function. So that means this delta function here is going to be shifted up to a plus b. Uh, this one is going to be shifted up to a minus b. This one here. Uh, and then when we convolve with this delta function, this function here shifted to be centered on that delta function, we will have this delta will be shifted to minus a plus b, uh, which is here, uh, and this one is going to be shifted to minus a minus b, which is here. Okay, and what's the height of these? Well, when you're doing that convolution, you're multiplying the functions, uh, and don't forget the scaling of 1 on 2 pi over here. So the multiplication of these would have pi squared, and then you're dividing by 2 pi. So the height here then is pi divided by 2. So this is our function in the frequency domain of cos at times cos of bt. And now we've got to show this expression over here. And so what we're going to be seeing is with this expression has an a plus b term and an a minus b term. And if you notice here, uh, we've got an a plus b over here with a matching term at minus a plus b. And again, uh, we use the property of linearity so that for the Fourier transform, you can take individual components and add them up.
And so let's take these two delta functions and just for a moment consider the two outer delta functions. Well, that is clearly in the same form as the original up here of A, except that now the deltas are located at A plus B and minus A plus B. So this clearly, these two delta functions taken together is cos of A plus B T. So this is our cos of A plus B T term. But of course, we've got pi on two as the amplitude here, whereas we, we the cos term simply has pi. So this is half the value. So this is a half out the front. And then of course, we take the inner two, match them up. Uh, they pair them up. They are of course also a cos function uh, in the, back in the time domain. And they are at a minus b. This one's matching at negative a minus b. So this, and again, the amplitude is a half. So we've got a half of cos a minus b. Uh, so this is the result that we needed to uh, be showing. So here's the answer. And so again, why is this a typical exam question? Because professors like to see that you can do mathematics, but they also like to see that you can demonstrate your understanding. And so here we've used the properties of linearity, the properties of convolving with a delta function, and the properties of uh, understanding that you can represent cos in terms of complex exponentials. Uh, and so uh, this is a good uh, testing type question on an exam. So if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. It helps others to find the video. Uh, check out the uh, web page in the description below where there's a full categorized link, a list of all the videos on the channel. And of course, subscribe to the channel for more videos.